I personally was in the construction field for about 30 years myself, working for a general contractor. Uh, Kidwell Construction was the name of the contractor that the university had had a great rapport and relationship with. They are no longer in business, so the university was kind of in a position to start creating a rapport with a, a new general contractor. I had all the mutual respect in the world of Dennis Kidwell. Personally made a phone call to him. Then I started touching out to subcontractors. As the project became more and more real, subcontractors said, and there's a guy from William Woods called asking about you the other day. That really made me feel good because I think subcontractors are probably our best reference because they work for a lot of different generals and they know who's got it right and who's just helter-skelter just letting everybody go everywhere. I got nothing but good reviews. We rolled the dice and I have no regrets. This project was a residence to house four sororities. They were about 23,000 square foot per building. There was a basement and two floors on top of it. There is a common stairwell in the center. There's a common elevator that they're able to use. But when you walk into one or the other of the sororities, it feels like it's their own individual house. The completion was huge because there was, there was four groups of ladies that were moving into that building. When we started the project, we started at that date and went backwards. On a project such as Sorority Circle, where you're married to the end date, the only way that I could assist that was making sure that those gentlemen got the answers they needed when they needed them. You know, ha having Mike's field experience, you know, that was, that was just huge because he was going to have to maintain it. There's just a mutual respect there. We met the deadline. We came in under budget, so I was completely satisfied. Mm -hmm.